Talk. Uh, Filthy Lots weekly live panel discussion show coming to you live from North Vancouver. Uh, we are on the traditional lands of the Squamish Nation. We'd like to recognize the privilege to work, play, and create on these beautiful lands. Uh, we encourage you at home to comment in the chat with what traditional lands you're watching from. If you don't know, look it up. Uh, I'm Trevor Gemma. Next to me is Roz Young. And returning as captain of the Starship chat room, although she's not wearing her Starfleet issue she has her badge. jacket. She's got a badge. She's got the communicator badge. She's blending in with the uh, normies. Yeah. yeah. The, um, the temperature sensors in the ship have completely uh, malfunctioned, yeah. and it's too hot to put on my jacket right now. That's so. totally fair. Yeah. Also, probably time travel. Yeah, but that's Ash Turner. Uh, OK, so quickly, nerd news. Do you have anything you want to talk about? Uh, we're going to talk about lots of stuff that's super nerdy today. Yeah. Um, in oh, yeah. hockey nerd news, I think James would be very disappointed if we didn't talk about the fact that the Canadians are playing tonight. And if they win, they're going to the Stanley Cup final. Oh, damn. They're going to the end. I have not been following that. I haven't followed hockey since the last time the Canucks lost game seven. Uh, and I, I just, my, it destroyed my love for hockey. Hey, um, guys. What's oh. up? Uh, Chef Karg's already redeemed a thing. Do you want to do it now or should we, do you want to do it later? Uh, we'll do it in seconds because I'm going to skip nerd news because uh, basically this is inspired by, we're, we're right in the middle of Loki. Uh, coming in two weeks from today, I believe, is uh, the Black Widow movie. And so we're getting into the MCU today. We're going to talk all things MCU. We've got 23 movies to get through. We've got multiple series to get through. So. We're skipping some stuff. We're skipping nerd news. We're skipping intros because already in their seats, we have Chris Livingston bum, 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 bum. and Casey Gemma. Ooh, they're so sassy. That was, uh, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of got oh me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I need my back. Okay. So, um, yes. You, it's triggered, and it is a. Uh, Chef Cards has redeemed. So you think you? So you think you're nerdy, huh? Prove it. Okay, so <gasps> that is you what you've done the work for. So this is how this is going to work. People at home is uh, Roz has prepared a bit of trivia. Mandatory games for us in the panel. Uh, yeah, mandatory fun. Yeah, I feel like every time Chris is on, I force him to play games. <laughs> okay with it. I love it. Love the games. games. All about uh, the games. So we uh, so we have some trivia. That uh, the the answers will come from. Oh crap! We didn't give. You know what? Uh, uh, is there extra cards? But wait, there's more. Do you guys have pens? No. No. Do you know to write our answers? This? Yeah, no. and then yeah. and then we'll reveal at the same time. Totally unprepared. For we this. totally yeah. screwed this up. Well, oh, Ash is grabbing us pens. It's almost you know, like we were doing I mean, other things. We were thinking yeah. of doing this because <laughs> because my concern was the audience is obviously going to guess their guess. They shout out at home, and no one here knows what you're shouting out at home. Please shout very loud. Make your neighbors worried about your, uh, you know, state. It's the pandemic. It's fine. They won't even notice. Why, thank you, but Ash. Here thank on the you. stage, everybody has extensive Marvel knowledge. Yes. And I suspect you guys are going to be hecka dang good at this. So you're going to be unable to stop from shouting out the correct answer instantly. Or just blasting what you think is the correct answer and then realizing that's not a Marvel movie I'll at all. I'll try my best. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So, so you, what have you prepared? Okay. This game is I'm about to show you a still from one of the 23 Marvel movies that we are currently discussing. And you are going to guess what movie that's from and what year that movie came out. Oh, Ooh. that that might be a bit. Oh, that's, I don't, I don't yeah, know the years rough. at all. Yeah. That's too, yeah. The pandemic know. has made years all so Yeah. <laughs> time is meaningless. Okay. Yeah. The TVA okay. tells us so. Time moves differently there. Okay. So what's that's our first guess. one? Also, right, right. I'm loving Rocket and, Gr and Baby yeah. Groot That's peeking great. over our You're logo. Welcome. That's I, that. I did fantastic. that yeah. in this program, because I uh, am not good with stuff. OK, here okay. we go. Here's your first clue. Oh, God. What do we got? Why is it not nine? Uh-oh. Now is here's it... your first clue. Oh. 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 What oh. movie is this? And what year was okay. this movie released? Theatrical oh. release year. Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. Royalty free music out of my mouth. <laughs> your laugh is awesome. Uh, it's like, <laughs> okay, no, I can't uh, spin here, though. Oh my dear God. Just uh, take a quick guess, because I'm about to show you all the answer in five, four, uh, three, two. Answers are locked in and the reveal. Oh, 
I have written it down. Oh, oh, oh so yeah. close. Oh. So close. I wrote, the, I wrote the wrong year down. But I wrote the wrong Age year down. Oh, yeah. 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 Age of Ultron. Yeah. Age of Ultron. Nice. What, what year did you get? I went 2014, so it's not oh. my year. Oh, who's you're, closest? You were closer going without going over. I was I 2013. Over. You know, so I'm closer without going over? Yeah. So oh. point, point to Livingston? Point yeah. Livingston. Can, Ash, can you keep score? Because there's going to be 12... Price is right there, rules. There could be yeah. up to... Uh, <laughs> always. Yeah. Yeah. Always price is right rules. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I was going to write last names. I was going to say Livingston, but you guys have the same last name, so that, never mind. Oh, yeah, oh, don't do yeah. last names. Gemma. That doesn't work. You're Gemma, like Gemma, one, Gemma, 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 there you go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so into Marvel. Now, shall we start at the beginning? Might as well. Okay. And and we're out we're, of curiosity. Are we doing this in chronological release order, or are we doing this in the chronological story order? That's oh, fair. That's uh, good question. Plus, you can watch them in both orders. You can. We can jump around. I really don't care. Okay. I'm just <laughs> curious, right? But like, I mean, really, the movie that deserves credit for kicking it all off is Blade. But yes, we're talking MCU, oh, an yeah. official oh, MCU. It does. Blade yeah. deserves all the credit. It even had well, the Marvel tag in the beginning. Yeah. It did. It's just you're going. It's before canon. Yeah. Yes. So um, that's true. We're not talking about the non-canon stuff like Agents of Shield. Yeah. That movie, or I mean, that TV show also sucks butts. Yes. And it has good watch. moments. But we are right going to talk. Right. I just wanted to, a question. Was let's start with this question. What do you all consider the biggest blunder in the MCU? Are we considering shows as well, or is this yes. just like everything? Bring us blunder. Yeah. That's tough for me. Um, Ang Lee's Hulk. Uh, that wasn't. That wasn't. That was not. Oh, that wasn't no, canon. No. The, wait, okay. wait, which which one did the, he do? Did he the, do the Ed Norton one? The Norton is one canon. is canon. That's canon. The banner. Yeah. Yeah. Banner. It, the funny right. thing is they've kind of removed it from canon. Mm. They the Ed Norton one. If you even look at what they have listed on on Disney Plus, it's not in there. Oh really? Yeah. I it's not, like they, the Eric Banner one. They, they movie. don't. I I appreciated the Eric Banner one and what they were going for with the really comic book style. Like I yeah. did have a real appreciation for it. Yeah, but, I like some things about it, but yeah. Yeah. It him great. fighting a cloud but, okay, is a bit weird. In the yeah. traditional, yeah. in the traditional twenty three traditional whatever the thing we say we make up I don't know geek rules in the twenty three movies though which yes. one? Because I think Agents of Shield is hot garbage. So yes, not it thinking is. about. If we're not talking about that, Iron Man two. I Iron Man say, 2. Really? really? I'd say 3. I'd of, say 3. Of the Iron Man 3 movies. I thought was was a better overall movie. Um, because I think that there, there was more about Iron Man and his story I appreciated in that than I did in 2. Yeah. Um, but whereas I'd in say all it's a bigger this, blunder though. The thing I didn't like about 3 though was that he brought all of the suits in and, and they were completely ineffective. Like they did absolutely nothing. <laughs> they were destroyed instantly. Yeah, that was trash. Yeah, that's fair. It was trash. <laughs> there's uh, there's a lot of blunders in 3. Like the the setting up when he meets that kid in the in the garage and the kid's like what yeah. about a stealth suit and he's like oh that's a good idea they could have used that later in the movie he could have developed a stealth suit and that's how he got in and saved yeah. Pepper yeah uh, but the biggest blunder of that movie is that it was the first movie that came out after the first Avengers movie yeah and it it was a fully solo movie even at the end of the first Avengers you see him and uh, 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 Bruce Banner drive off together like they're Total homies, like all science yeah. science bros now. Yeah. Science, why wouldn't he bring in the bros. Hulk? Yeah. Why you wouldn't don't he... drive off together and not be bros for life? Yeah. yeah. But why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't he bring in the Hulk to help him? <laughs> in Budgetary that, issues. Like, um. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. How do we but, all feel about the first Captain America? Okay, no, I, I actually uh, really like the first Captain America. It's a good movie. It's That's a hot take. I'm fun. guessing you did not. Okay, but I liked the second half of it. The whole point. Of, of when they were like establishing that he was basically just a mascot. Yeah. I felt like that was a waste of screen time. I don't know though, because that's that's really important, I think, to the, the overall story arc of who Captain America is. Because the whole point was, you know, the government viewed him as a waste of time. Hmm. You yeah. know, because they didn't get what they wanted. They wanted okay. sold they wanted their soldiers to be super soldiers. And so they didn't get that and so they put him aside and they put, and it really showcased for me that that buildup of like I gotta stop saying that for me. It's ah, drink. Yeah, welcome back. Now I'm noticing it. <laughs> uh, no. But I, I <laughs> but it was that kind of a thing where it built up that character, and so when he appears and he goes off and he and he rescues those, the, the rest of the team, what becomes yeah. his team. Um, yeah. I think it, it, it built that up for me. Okay. I also think this. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. Fork and hard. Oh, I think the two, second though. one is Not a as bit. Good. Actually, I read it. Forgot about it. it was all right. <laughs> An opportunity was missed there. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh my goodness. Up? We have another one. 
Uh, Capri Smith has uh, redeemed the same thing, so you think you're a nerdy. Okay. Oh, oh, round two. Ding, oh, ding. friends, are you ready? Get out your pens and paper for oh, right. this fun photo. Nice. Oh. Burr, 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 burr. oh my god, what can film I remember what this do you is think this is from of the 23 Marvel MCU movies? <laughs> and what year was this released? Theatrical release oh, year. Okay, uh, I'm ready. Five. And it was wait. Four. Okay. Six, My printer's very small, so it doesn't two, really show on camera very yeah. well. One. And the reveal is this is Thor, Thor the Dark World 2013. 2013. Yes! Oh, tied. I, I just wrote Thor, Thor 2 because I couldn't remember the I remember it was dark something. <laughs> uh, and I, I overestimated the year. Okay, okay, so. guys, we got two. <laughs> Points awarded is the dark world. Tie game. I was like, oh, it was dark something in my head. I was like, how can I not remember this? This was about like dark elves. Well, it was about not... dark elves. Yeah, it was. Sure it was. I just couldn't remember what the. Uh, so close. So biggest close. blunder? Oh, biggest blunder. Oh, man. I guess. Yeah, I guess it would be. It'd be, it'd be Iron Man 3. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. I will say, however, when you say blunder, and putting it in a new perspective, Guardians mm -hmm. 2 might be a bit of a, a huge blunder because they fell into the, that, that typical pit that producers fall into of, hey, here's what everybody loved yeah. about our first one, so let's yeah. just do a lot of that yeah. in the well, second cookie one. Cutter. I, this, I, this isn't my biggest blunder, but like I think Thor, Thor 3, Thor Ragnarok is a lot of people's favorite, Okay, wait. but they completely shit because of what yeah. we were just talking about. Yeah. Oh, the recipe of Guardians was super successful, so right. let's turn Thor into Guardians. Well, and that's not even the worst like, of it, because to me what really killed me about that movie is that aside from all that, and it was, you know, I. You know, uh, Tycho did a great job, and it was funny, and it was fun to watch. It was an it was an it entertaining was film. However, the immediate next film, oh, they yeah. undid everything, everything that was in that movie. Absolutely everything. And I and it really bothered me. I yeah. will hear no ill will about Tycho Waititi. Well, okay, it's well, not, no, 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 that's, no, it's not ill will towards it, him. That's the next movie, yeah, people. Yeah, because but, but, what so, you're talking about Thor is Ragnarok like Thor Rock is a great example of a, the translation of Thor comic fun to the screen. True. But what, what but, Chris is talking about is the fact that that whole movie was about Thor finding that he didn't need his hammer, that he the, the power, power was in him. Was in him and he basically became Odin by the end of it. Yeah. yeah. And, and then the next movie I just started to find him a going weapon. I need a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's someone else's fault. No, no, and okay. that's what I'm saying it's not I'm not saying it. I'm also, not saying it's the fault incredibly cheesy moment was when uh, Actually, there Carl Urban's character, I don't remember what his character was called. <laughs> like, Which one? What? Uh, Carl Urban's character, the executioner. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 the executioner was a yeah. useless Wait, character. With the double machine guns like fighting against gods. I was like, what is this about? Yeah, his thing was to jump in with a couple of AKs. It was like instead of his axe that's the sharpest thing that can cut through anything. Well, and the other part I had Problem with is that the the peasants of uh, oh yeah <laughs> we're, we're uh, the warrior they're, people they're all as guardians <laughs> right like this warrior yeah. race yeah. What, what are we talking about here yeah. they're yeah. all hiding in a cave no <laughs> uh, are we going to talk about uh, surprisingly excellent because I think uh, yes but can I just I'm just gonna uh, I, I, we'll go right back to it but my blunder was the Inhumans. Oh, yeah. The oh, I forgot about the, that. Exactly. Oh, That's how oh bad it was. That I was also bad. Bad. I mean, who even but watched it? But that was it? a TV show, and we had said no, not Did to, we say no TV shows? We, we, we no, were, we're saying that we're still adding them in. Okay. Yeah. But you're right, actually, that was. Oh. Is that terrible. considered canon? Technically. Uh, oh. I think they're hoping everyone forgets about it, as most of us have. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I certainly have. They, they, they screwed bad. that up big. They did the whole, uh, we're going to shoot this in IMAX and release it in the theater. Oh, my God. It was all so bad. <laughs> oh, wow. That was bad. All of that was bad. It was so bad. Oh. Oh, uh, go. What was your thing? I want to talk about how great the Peggy Carter show was. Yes. I never oh, watched Peggy that Carter. That actually was very good. So good. Was guilty. Both seasons. I'm guilty yes. of not watching it. I just did well. that. Both seasons. It's good. <laughs> it was so good, it counts for three fingers. Oh, yeah. So good, and it is excellent. It's one of those shows where when Matt and I would watch it, we would watch the scene and then go back uh -huh. and watch that scene again and wow. break down elements and, oh. of it. And really? I will say like, in... Uh, brilliant filmmaking. Yeah, and in, uh, the, in Endgame, when they go back and he gets to see her again, yeah. for me, that actually had a lot more yeah. weight to it because oh. of that, that, that show. Because I know, show. I, I said it again, <laughs> but because of that... Because of that show, though, there was a lot, lot more connection going yeah. on there. Okay. Sweet. Fair enough. It's on Disney Plus, right? Is that one on Disney Plus? It should I be. I hope so. It I should be. It yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm sad Asian they didn't. Carter. They didn't do more of it. But what a beautifully crafted period piece. I you think know? the biggest oh, yeah. surprise really well to me, done too. Yeah. if we're talking about um, 
like hits. Z- z- yeah. But hits like unexpected hits. Uh, Doctor Strange. Oh yeah. Yes. I never enjoyed Doctor Strange as a comic book, and that movie became my favorite Marvel. Yeah. Movie. Same. Like it's just amazing. It's yeah. funny actually to me. That I, I I would. I would say that you said to me. That's different. It's true, but <laughs> the the uh, it's. It, I think my favorite Marvel movies are a lot of the characters you wouldn't expect: Ant Man, yeah. uh, mm, Guardians, yeah, uh, Doctor Strange. Those are the ones I I suddenly was like, oh, these are all. They're not the heavy hitters as far as the comics go, but these are. Yeah. yeah, they're really fun. They're, they're they're great. Great. What I really liked about Doctor Strange was that it was a really strong marriage of visual effects and stunts. Yeah. Mm. And like the behind the scenes are really interesting because they would build levels and steps out of like blue material oh. and then shoot that and then combine that with what they were doing on screen and it just turned out beautiful. Yeah. It did. Oh, it yeah. was just it was such a visual ride. And like I'm going to say this again. It, 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 I think I've said on the show before. If you watch 3D movies, don't freaking bother unless you're going to IMAX. And yeah. IMAX 3D for that movie was amazing. Just, it was just all the magic stuff was so... A little overpowering on streams, but other than that, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Wait, insanely what? stimulating. No, nothing. 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 It, was a, uh, oh, it was so cool. No, I think it's a really good point that the... The characters that people get a little more chance to play yeah. can really find mm. a voice, especially in their first film, if it if it lands. And then, you know, then obviously then you're right, producers are trying to steal like all the best elements and then smash them all That's together. That's what makes me nervous about Strange too. Mm-hmm. It's only because you're right. I, I think the, it the again, multiverse it, of madness. Yeah, like oh, it, yeah. it popped out. The first one was so great. It was a really well told story, a yeah. great character development piece. Like I, I really liked it, and I get nervous whenever they. For so far, when they do that, they go, oh, we did it. We nailed this first one. And then yeah. the second one, they, the, you know, they, they lean too heavy on the, the bits that worked well in the first one instead of just telling another yeah. good story. But then, Point. like, oh, well, I was considering it. Uh, uh, I just I didn't like the change of tone between Thor, Dark World. It, it had that, like, you know, you have Kenneth Branagh directing. You have it, like, very classic kind of overtones of acting. Like, it yeah. feels... Uh, uh, old worldy and that Epic. kind of a thing, and then they s- just completely shift it to like happy fun oh, and go that was, time. Yeah, that was driven like, by um, oh my god, Thor. I uh, lost his name. Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Yeah, yeah he wanted right? to be funny. He wanted to be funny. He wanted sure. To be comedy. So. And uh, great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just felt weird. It felt like a really weird tonal shift. I, I still really. Like en- it. I enjoyed the movie. I did yeah. enjoy the movie, but it's oh yeah, full of holes. Okay, it fits, it's a good yeah, time. Okay, fair. Should we try and comb through this crap? Like, go through all 23 movies and just sort of, like, give a brief sure. how we feel. Okay. Sure. Can we, so let's, wait, wait. One last thing about surprising wins. Loki the show. Loki the show. Yeah. 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 No. Actually, I will say all the shows so far. And Falcon been... and Winter Soldier was... Yeah. Oh, is but there another one? Loki. There's okay, another sorry. one. Oh. oh okay. This time but it was the... from me. <laughs> I, I promise after this we will go to that. Okay. okay. We'll okay. start um, hammering through some yeah. of these movies. I'll stop jumping in. All right. What do we got? What? Ba 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Are you ready? Short. Which movie is this from? No, come on. And what year, right? What movie? What year? Write your answer on your paper. It is 2021, right? Yep. It is five, four, three, two. My oh, oh I was way off. I got it, 2018. I, oh, I, I screwed it up. Yeah. I thought it was Captain America Civil War. So did I. <laughs> no, I guess that when he gets, picks up the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ant-Man oh. 2. Oh. Yeah, I screwed that up. And in 2018, Woo. nailed the year, too. Wait, you called it Ant-Man 2? I did. I don't know these fucking names. <laughs> 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 Point five. Is that a time for you to remember all of it? It was a sequel. It's only the characters in the movie. Ant-Man and the ones. Ant-Man 2. Um, I mean, technically. Rude. Were you, were you trying to say something there, Ash? Oh, I was just wondering if that was a full point or a half a point. I'm going to call it a half I'll point. I'll take a half point for that. That's okay. Fine. Still in the lead. Yeah. But I got the yeah. year right. That was like, you know. I'm actually, I'm absolutely. Did super you get the impressed. year right? Yeah, 2018. What year was it? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nailed the year. It was 2018? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because that's why I asked what year it was now, and I went, man, man. So it. let's do this. This isn't in chronological by release or <laughs> by. Uh, uh, Order in, <laughs> in timeline. Uh, Iron Man. Yes. So let's, uh, what did you guys think of the villain? Obadiah Stane. I, uh, 
I, you know, honestly, like I didn't feel like he was that great of a villain, but he was the villain to start I mean, from. He was like a launching point. It's funny, because I actually thought he was a great villain for a first movie. Yeah. Because he was also a personal villain. He was a villain yeah, that was close to the character, so it was... Well, and it was less about, like, super combat. Yeah. Like, villain hero. Because it's about him... Yeah. It was also about Iron Man becoming Iron Man. Yeah. yeah. Recognizing like, that he didn't just build a cool suit, but that he was going to use it and become something more. I also yep. feel like it was... I mean, Robert Downey Jr. is so cool as Iron Man, yeah. and the sequences of him becoming that character, I think they would have overshadowed any villain you could have thrown at him. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Right? It's true. I. He was just... It was just so fun. And yeah. you just... You're instantly lost in that experience, in that world. You're just like, I'm in! I, I mean, would almost, throw, throw it all. I would throw Iron Man up there in surprise hits because I never gave a shit about Iron Man. Yeah. And that movie made me care about Iron it's, Man. It's funny because in the comics, and I, I read a lot of the Marvel comics, yeah. but Iron Man was a villain to me in yeah. the comics because mm. he's a complete prick. Most he's a of the total time. drunk dick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, and one of the biggest comic book series is. Uh, when he recognizes his alcoholism and deals with that, that's actually a, yeah. that's a big series in in Marvel Comics. But certainly, yeah, he's like less cool Marvel Batman. Yeah. Also, weapons yes. pusher, like he sells weapons to yeah. other countries. Mm. Like, yeah, he's not a good. Yeah. Not a but good that's player. what I liked about the movie was that it was. I thought it was more about him discovering to be a better person. Yeah. Like not just to be a hero, but to be a better person and not do what with his company what he was trying to do. Yeah. And that and made I, it all his money. I have to say, it was a it was a very solid start to this whole Hell yeah. run Absolutely. of movies. It was a very solid yeah. foundation to to build their series on. Okay, so Iron Man two. Meh. Meh. <laughs> so, what didn't you like about it? What don't I like about it? Yeah. Oh God. If you're giving uh, him an eh, yeah. What did you think of Whiplash that, as a villain? That, I thought he was a terrible villain. And uh, the introduction—that's where we meet Black Widow for the first time. Yeah. Was it, it an Iron right. Man too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it is underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was. I, yeah, it really well, and was. Her, her right. accent kind of like slips in and out, and it's yeah. They just—they yeah. done her so dirty. They, she's yeah, a good character. That's true. She's been but done dirty. I hope her movie is good. This is way off topic as far as trying to get things through, through things. But have you guys seen the trailer for Black Widow? Mm -mm. I've seen a trailer. I, the, I saw like the the, the, the one early they teaser. Really, yeah, like the early one yeah. trailer. I think it's called Trailer Three. Okay. Got me jacked because yeah, I really. didn't know that the villain was Taskmaster. Yeah, which is a great task. Like yeah. the, the Taskmaster is a great villain for. Yeah, uh, for Black Widow. It looks very family-based, so I'm curious to see how that comes across in the yeah, moments where, yeah. you know, that balance of comedy, like we're talking about with all the shows, balancing comedy, action, adventure, and drama in the Marvel movies, when it works, it's amazing. But when it's so, off... Going back to your point about her being done dirty, it's like, well, she didn't get her own movie until after she's dead. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, she did. so what's going to happen? Is she going to come back well, somehow? What, yeah, there's like, so many things that can take us off topic here because well, I, there's so many Well, Black about Widow that. takes place between Infinity War and Endgame. Right. Uh, yeah. Another redemption. Okay. <gasps> More trivia. Capri. Says oh, thanks, make it Capri. happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Uh, I would love to know how the audience is doing on trivia because I'm sure they're keeping score. And are you ready? Your next trivia question is this image. Oh, what man. movie is this film? What movie is this film? You know what I mean. What is this from? And what year? Boop, 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 boop. This is human music. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, wait, I just did that wrong. Wait, did I? Five, four, three, two, one. No, I'm wrong. One. It's Infinity War. It is. Oh, damn. I was. I immediately just did Black Panther. I fell for it. You guys did Black Panther? Yeah! Yeah! Did you not notice Captain America there? No, it wasn't even that. It was actually the army standing behind him. I went. Wait, no, the army you stands behind it. him until Infinity War. But do I get a half point there. for the year? Yeah, I, I was wrong the uh, last second. You, you got the right year. Yeah, 2018. I, I, I looked at it so hard and went, wait a minute, is this Black Panther or is this Infinity War? And I didn't have time yeah. to write the year. Oh, I'm going to give just See, a in Black Panther, Trevor. he's only Make with that army Trevor. when he's right. fighting them. So yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Good job, guys. Okay. I, knew, I knew it could catch you maybe a little bit yeah. on some of those <laughs> sneaky ones. That was a sneaky one. That was good. Sneaky ones. Whiplash, Iron Man 2. Man. I, I liked 
uh, uh, I like what he represented because yeah. it started the like people uh, having a problem with Stark Industries. Yeah, and That's fair. like that kind of leads into Scarlet Witch and uh, I, like what they did with Wanda and Pietro. Yeah. I liked his motivation. I liked yeah. that he felt like his ideas were stolen, and then he was going after him for that reason. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know. That was weak. It was all weak. My biggest <laughs> overall problem with it and Iron Man two and three yeah. is that the only solution, like the way that they solved the problems was a bigger gun. Cause yeah. it's Iron Man in the first yeah. one yeah. and then it's it's Iron Man plus War Machine is the answer. And well, then Iron Man plus 50 suits. And even yeah. Iron Man and War Machine just destroy everything. And like, like it's not even a competition. No. They just yeah. blow everything out of just the water like, in the end. Yeah. Laser waves. I'm like, oh, all right, cool. <laughs> you know? Like, it's just weak. It's all that weak. That's a really good point. Like, you know, let's talk about conflict resolution options that aren't just... Something cool. Like, I mean, diplomacy? Dance off. Maybe not no. the Dance best thing off. in the blockbuster I mean, film. it's been done, sort of. It, do Guardians? Guardians, yeah. They did, literally did yeah. a dance off. Yeah. Right? That, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Um, you can mix it up. Throw uh, something so cool in there. Iron Man 3. We're gonna, we're gonna, we got to try go, and power go, through the Okay. Um, but do you want to jump to Avengers first, then? Uh, Only because that came before Iron Man 3? Oh, that's like I said. This isn't like a... Okay, uh, cool. Yeah. Iron Man okay. 3. Iron Man 3... I think one of the uh, we mentioned I mentioned a couple blunders earlier, but I think one of the uh, biggest blunders of that movie is the Mandarin. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Especially I mean, because they, the setup in the first movie, the Seven yeah. Rings, with the way that they did that, I was like, that's an interesting take. I wouldn't like the Seven Rings, or the, or is it the Seven Rings? I believe so. The yeah. Oh right. The, it's not the, the seven rings. The is magic it, rings that ten, Mandarin. Whatever. But anyways, yeah. yeah. They, they they set that up well in the first movie. I thought it was going to carry forward, and then they did this. And when I saw the trailers, I was like, Oh, oh, this it's could the be, Mandarin. This is the Mandarin. This is going to be really cool. And then they didn't do it, and I was like, yeah. Well, that the, is a problem that happens a lot, I think. And you're really smart to bring up the idea of the movie because we we have this hero. But then, what did you think of the villain? Because I think that's the biggest problem with Spider-Man movies is the villains don't land the way they do in the comic books now, most of the time. Are you saying all of the other Spider-Man movies or including... I'm not talking about the MCU ones, okay, but before. Okay, because I think they're finally doing it really um, well. Yeah, I agree. I have another issue with Iron Man 3. Bring it. Um, but I, he, then I was, oh, sorry, he, uh, go, he, go, go. he does the remote piloting thing, oh. right? And then he also heals his issue. He no longer has... Yeah, that's actually comic thing. book canon. Sure, but... Right. All of that done, and like I just feel like they didn't go anywhere with it. Like he didn't remote pilot anything after that film. Oh. He was in the suit all the time, and the whole point of him not being in the suit was because the arc reactor is in his chest, right? But, like, yeah. but he did. Didn't they have? There was the other suits. He was trying to set up an Iron Man suit in every country. Like that was a thing. Like a suit, yeah, that, a suit in every country around the world. Like that, that. Well, that eventually happened because of the Battle of New York. He yeah. wanted to create an yes. so you get yeah. to Ultron. A suit of yeah. armor around but the world. But then it all got corrupted. I yeah. feel like yeah. Ultron is probably, I don't, I can't believe that we didn't talk about it on the blunders list. Really? Yeah. All the, the, uh, what? Yeah. Yeah, there's blunders really? in it. There's blunders in it. I don't know, I really and like Ultron that Ultron himself? I mean, when we saw the teaser trailer and James Spader's voice was coming out of that row, and we were just like, and then the movie was really like. Wait, wait, wait. Man. Was that a what of excitement or a what of what the fuck? I was, was happening? super excited going into the film. Oh, okay. And then, then there, I was just like, eh. And they really? bust some stuff up, and then they defeat the robot. I, yeah. I guess I really enjoyed it because I thought the, the story start to finish was actually really but well told. I also I think a lot of the human stuff in it doesn't land. Like which? I don't know why this like. Black Widow Hulk stuff I really wanted to work and it doesn't. It's just sort of feels like it's you're just doing too big. I mean, wait, doing we this about? with it. <laughs> the story. I'm worried about the story. I don't know. Maybe it's just Yeah, I But like all the the human stuff just didn't feel right to me. The and thing Ultron is, I would have felt cool. better about the Hulk okay. Black Widow love story had they played that out more after the fact even. Because they mm. don't really. I mean when he returns after Ragnarok. Yeah. They have a, an awkward moment. The briefest but that's it. of moments, like just and, hating that. And that's, like, yeah, and that's <laughs> kind of it. Yeah. So I, I, yeah. I do wish they'd kind of played that out a little bit more, and so that might have added. Like the thing is with the Marvel, the MCUs, you, you can't take it in a bit. You have to sort of take it as a whole yeah. because there's things that happen, and you're like, oh, like, nothing <laughs> happened here. And now, okay, yeah, all right, you got to calm down. I mean, we're talking about Black yeah. Widow <laughs> and the Hulk relationship. <laughs> But later, all of a sudden, something might come back, and you're like, now that added to it, now this is more for me. So, uh, I, I don't know. 
I don't know. And I feel like even until WandaVision did a better job with the twins than Age of Ultron. It did. Yeah, it's true. You know, I didn't really care. I was I, a bit I, like, Do you think Meh. that was, though, because of, of Fox and all of that and, and the Pietro they'd done? I don't know what the hell happened there. Because they, they, at a certain point, they were talking about... Well, it's because they've been uh, trying to avoid mutants forever. Yeah. Huh? Capri says trivia again. After that, we're getting into Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Okay. Because we Soldier. already talked about the first Captain America. Okay. okay. Do, okay. It. Here Do we go. it. Hit it. Are you ready? What movie is this? And what year is it from? Oh, wow. Bow, that's bow, a hard bow, one. Bow, bow. I don't know what year that is. Oh, here we go. It's a movie. It's got Rocket the Raccoon. Do, 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 do. And I'm gonna keep singing because I see you still writing something down. But now it's time to uh, call it off. So it's five, four, wait, know, wait, I'm three, too, writing too I'm slow. Two, one. Oh, I'm wrong. And it's two. Is, yeah, it's two. the first oh, it is. one. No, it's right. The oh, I got the year. I got the year wrong. The galaxy. I just I said. Got, I thought their pants were all the pants I of the. Uh, I thought I would totally get a few people. Woo. Yeah. So I got it. Guardians of the Galaxy 2014. I got the I, year wrong. 2016. Uh, we'll give I, you a half point. Okay. We'll give you a half point. I get no points. Full point uh, for I Trevor. I totally thought that was number two because the, 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 <laughs> I thought those were all Ravagers and he was doing the... That's what I thought too. That's why I was like, wait, I got it wrong. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was uh, the prison. Captain America. It, it was Win the prison. Yeah. 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 What? That's the... That was the prison. Oh. That's yeah. why I first thought, and then I went, oh, she's going to trick me with this. <laughs> and I thought I could be, I'm like, they're going to think I'm tricking them, but I'm not. It's a, a, a trick of a trick. Double yeah, trick. A trick of a trick. <laughs> okay, Captain America Winter Soldier. how many movies there are. So, it, it, yeah, what did you guys think of that movie? I, I enjoyed it. I mm -hmm. did. Certainly not my favorite. I, I love the setup of Black Panther in it. I actually thought that was really cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, Black Panther was set up in Civil War. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This was just Winter Soldier. This was just like, this my after, friend Bucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, I mean, it's from the comic book, so it's okay. But Bucky's a dumb name. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's just really hard to look at him and be like. I mean, and yeah. Bucky's just a nickname from yeah. their childhood. Yeah, it childhood. is, but it's also just like, he's so cool. Okay, <clears throat> was, was Winter Soldier the one with the, the hover uh, aircrafts? Yes. And that became the main issue? The, the, the bad guys were really, it was like Soldier and uh, Zola. It introduced right. Arnim Zola. It was so, really a Hydra focused thing again. So overall, like the action and everything in that film was incredible. Yeah. Um, I felt like, you know, like some of the best action that we had seen so far in the MCU. But my biggest issue with that film is that there was Stark tech in all of those hover ships and they never thought to contact Stark to ask yeah. about I mean, a kill switch. Ah. Now, again, ah. here's the, now, yeah, I mean, this is you run into that problem of the budget versus the story. Because the yeah. thing is, Robert Jerry Jr.'s contract was brilliant. And, and, and at the same time, would he, he earned so many points on the back end yeah. that if you brought him in on anything, you were sacrificing a, sure. yeah. a big chunk of change. But like, why mention that? Why say that there's Star Tech in all these ships? Don't worry, there's yeah. a lady you can call. She's way less money, Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I will say that like, so, okay, so coming back to she Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for a second. Oof. So this is something Hydra that stuff. I thought that they did really Oof. well. And, and when I was, you know, the show itself was We're gonna go over that. cheesy, to say the least. You know, I thought that they did a good job of introducing the Inhumans before they just totally screwed that up. <laughs> but, they, um, but they also, in that moment, what I enjoyed, you watched an episode, that movie came out, <laughs> Hydra took over, ruined everything. Next episode, yeah, it, right. was, it, it was all yeah. Yeah. fallout. It was all fallout and chaos. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, to me, was a really cool aspect. Had the show been better written, I, I think that, that just that process of it being changed by whatever was going on in the, the movies was really was cool. a really cool idea. Yeah. It I was, think uh, Agent Coulson is great in the show. Yeah. Everything else, hot garbage. Yeah. I, I give up on the show, and then I heard Ghost Rider was in it, and I was like, ooh, should I keep going? And, uh, but I didn't. I, I didn't. <laughs> But the answer was he, probably not. Yeah. Even Ghost Rider was not enough it to bring you back. Yeah. Uh, it sucks. It's a cool idea, but it wasn't great. It I wonder if they're going to bring Speaking of that, back. is Deadpool, why is it not in the MCU? I mean, because it was Fox owned. And this is before oh, right. Disney like, bought Fox. Right. But, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. What? Tangible it's Audio be, says more trivia. Tangible Audio. Thank you, Tangible <laughs> Audio. Okay. I, I, it is going to be in the. 
in they are bringing Deadpool yes, in, and yes. I believe that's going to be their connection to the mutants. Which, going back to the Pietro Wanda thing, is the thing that them trying to avoid the mutant thing. That, that confused think, it so much, though. Like, too, yeah. I thought it was going to start something, and then it didn't, because I thought that WandaVision was going to end in like a House of M like work. Because like when the moment in WandaVision, minor spoilers, but if you haven't watched it, eh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> too when, bad for you. When That's it starts you. to, like, the bubble that she's created, yeah. when it started to grow, I thought it was just going to keep going. I thought season finale was going to be she was gonna House, of House of M. She was going to House of M. That the whole Earth so was going yeah. to be rewritten. Well, and, and I was and like, oh. a lot of the source material was from House of M, which is why we all thought that. Yeah. The, the right? which was? The source material. For one oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was very tied in. Yeah. Um, okay, sorry. Trivia. Are you ready? Probably not. not. I'm not doing very good at this. Here we go, here we go. Trivia's making us not able to get through this. I know. We're gonna we're gonna speed up. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the film. Oh. Oh. What is this movie? I'm just gonna circle it down this. Real fast. Can I just write part of the we title? Because it's a long title. And just I'm ready. Make it really fast, and then write it year down. Because then uh, I'm gonna count down. It's five, <laughs> four, three, good filler. two, one. It is. Captain America: Civil War 2016. Oh, 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 so close oh, with the year. 2016. So year. I wrote 2018. I went over. Okay, okay. Wrote, this you get a half point. You get a full okay. point. Capri also gets a full point. That's fair. Nice. Oh, yeah, I see it. I was like, I can't write the whole title that fast. <laughs> Civil War. <laughs> I circled my old title for one that I screwed up. Did you? Captain <laughs> yeah. America Civil War. I just, I just brought out the card for that one that How I screwed up. How many of those are there where they're going to run out of cards? And... There's 12, so All just right. turn it over. Yeah, that's yeah. what I've been doing. Oh, you, but you're writing big enough that you can probably boom, put boom, it on boom, camera. Boom, Mine's super right. tiny. I have chicken scratch writing. I'm apo I apologize. Yeah. Okay. Uh, We've made it through. We talked about Civil War. Let me, you know what? Let's, move, let's talk about Civil War a bit more. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah. Yep. It's a big moment. A big moment in comics. That was a huge moment huge. in the comics. And comics. nowhere near realized to what it was in the comics. No. In the comics, no. it was a multi-issue, multi-series well, crossover. And you ended up with a bunch of different Avengers teams and a whole bunch of, like, you, yeah. you, you yeah. feel like it, it was a big deal in the comics. And you can't thing. do that did, in a did movie. You, yeah. so. Did you even want them to try? No. I would, no. but, like, ten years from now. So I kind of, this was, like, one of those things, like, with World War Z. I love that book. I hated that that movie got that title. Yeah, so I was upset that they even called it Civil War. My problem is unless they made it like Captain a America Plus, Internal Conflict. You know, <laughs> only if they did a Disney Plus series Civil War could they realize that cool. really. Yeah, right. You couldn't do it in a movie at, in any point no. if no, you no. did that. So if they did it, then I'm okay with it. And you'd need like Luke Cage. Yeah. And like, yeah, especially and, and, and that Wolverine. Unless, like, get into and all that. Movie, but, yeah, yeah like, Wolverine was a big. And so part many of villains Civil War. that they like that they that they mind control. Well, and you, and, like, you need a Captain Marvel. You need. Yeah. yeah, you need Doctor Doom. You need a bunch of people that haven't even gotten into yet. Yeah, <laughs> uh, She-Hulk show coming soon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Did like, you guys see who's cast as uh, Titania? No. No. Ooh, it is. Did you ever watch The Good Place? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Why, why am I blanking on her name? The tall girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, what is her name? And John. Uh, blur. Quick, we have somebody Ali? who's a fact checker. Fact checker. Uh, what? The Good Place. <laughs> it's just like cast I'm just in the, the good chat. Place. Uh, you say you're looking for the tall chick. Give us the, <laughs> give us the forecast. Four who's cast, cast as Titania and uh, She-Hulk? Uh, the Good Place. <laughs> oh yeah, who's cast as Titania and the She-Hulk? I, her, her I think her last name's Ali. Jamil? Oh, wait. No, that's her that last name. Right. Say it again. Maybe I'm wrong. Some, her last name is Jamil or something? Yeah. Uh, Thank you, fact checker. Kristen <laughs> Bell, Jamila Jamil. Uh, that's the one. Yes, that's yes, her. That's yes. the one. And so she's playing Titania? Yeah. That's oh, cool. Right? It's going to be so that good. Cool. Yeah. That's oh. very cool. Okay, I derailed you again. I'm sorry. Why did I think it was I have so many questions about that show, but we'll get us way off topic. But yeah, yes. oh, yeah, totally. I just really hope that it is as meta as the comic books, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, sorry. Go. question Go. about Civil War mm. is did you think that because of the fact that the really the, the the conflict that everyone that it was sold on that everyone cared about was the infighting of the heroes do you think baron zemo was overshadowed by this by the movie yes yeah yeah i don't think he got a chance to shine until captain uh captain america okay well this is but see again this is where from <laughs> looking, <yeah. laughs> looking at the whole instead of the individual yeah i like it a lot more because yeah. That was, an, that was a very interesting psychological intro to Baron Zemo. Yep. In a very different way than he's really portrayed in the comics. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. Different. True. But 
when it comes back and you actually see, you, you know, in, in Captain America Winter Soldier, now all of a sudden it's, it's far more fulfilled and, and he is a, I don't know, I, looking at the whole, I really appreciate it. Yeah. In the moment, maybe not as much, but it's certainly... It's true. I thought he was done. Because that, I think that's one of my biggest problems with the MCU overall is villains that are finished after one appearance. Yeah. Because yeah. The, the, the overarching relationships between uh, uh, repeated conflicts in the comics mm-hmm. is what really builds out those characters. There's yep. no way you can and, do that. Well, you can, and it's, it is, it, it's things like, uh, what is it called? The, not the arc. What do they call the, the rat? Yeah. Mm. Is, is imprisoning them and then having a massive escape. I know, but it's just like, but right. think about the big names they bring in to play those oh, characters. Yeah. Like it's, it's the realization of how we make something yeah. versus yeah. how we tell a story. I but mean, they I did think... it with GSP, right? Oh, yeah. Like, his character came back in Falcon and Winter Soldier. That was, I, that was actually pretty that. cool. But again, he doesn't cost as much as, like, well, not at all. bringing Fair. back... Yeah. But, but it's not the, that's the problem, though. Here's the, here's the penny-pinching bullshit of that, is what do you think the overall 23 movies cost to make and what do you think they made box office? Right. I mean, they made billions, but I, I don't know. Just take a stab in the dark. I have the numbers. You have the numbers? Ooh. Yeah, you oh, have wow. the numbers. Um, you have the, the numbers you can find online. Two point four billion to make them all, and... Two point four to make? Yeah. That's what I thought. It was around there. Is it huh. less? It's more. It's more? <gasps> more? Okay. Ooh, okay, I think, can you just reveal? It's 4.5 billion <gasps> is the old combined budget of 23 movies. Them. Okay. And it made 22, over 22 billion. Whoa! So within that 22 billion, yeah, you can you can pay some freaking appearances of actors. Like, yeah. Come well, on. but also like in the beginning, they didn't feel that way, and they weren't sure of that yet, right? They didn't know how successful it was going to be. So yeah. now they're doing it more because they're like, oh, we might want this guy to come back later. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's and why Iron I, Man three failed. Well, and I did like, wonder. Yeah. Post pandemic. Things going online more. Disney Plus becoming a much bigger, more prominent uh, platform for them to tell their stories on. Does that happen more? Do they start telling stories? Maybe not bringing back some of the older villains, but going forward, do they start bringing And when you've got Disney now? money, I mean, that's just a different story. Like, I was, when we're watching, um, you know, Scarlet Witch, and you're watching that show, you're like, Benedict Cumberbatch could show up. Like, I don't, like, yeah, Disney yeah. could be like, yeah, we, he's gonna come over, don't worry. We get, and they're we doing it. their contracts much better for that now, You know, too. like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Smart. But what is it that they're doing different from DC? Because that's not it's what they They're, they're not fucking Literally up. everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. They're yeah. Story, yeah. just a bunch of money and stuff and cramming superheroes into a film. But that's the problem, is that they, they took the time to set things up. Yeah. To, like, say, here, establishing story, combined story. Still interconnected, yeah. but establish this character. Yeah. Give them something that is in the same world. Cameos in the end credit scenes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, DC wanted to catch up so badly. They wanted to get into it so badly. Yeah. We got to be, we got to be right Justice where Marvel League. is so badly that they Bad just call. they screwed it off. The only thing DC does well is their animated stuff, which oh, yeah. is amazing. Oh yeah. yeah, it's incredible. Yep. So, Batman um, okay. for sure. He does that. Four. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the next movie? Uh, let's go through the Thor trilogy. So, and, you know, we kind of did. Okay. But let's talk about let's start, let's go quickly through them. So Thor, uh, the first one, uh, one? Sim, the first one, Thor one. Thing, uh, yeah, the first one where good, the good villain what really it was. was him trying to rediscover liked, himself being worthy I, of the hammer again. It, well, yeah. in being worthy of being Thor. I yeah. mean, like I I don't know. I really appreciated it because it started with the sort of classic Thor as guardian robustness, the, the bullshit of just like, you know, I am Thor! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It ends with him recognizing that he needs to be more than that. So I, and, I and his that. relationship with, you know, Midgard, yeah. you know? Yeah. Which yeah. is a really good way to set yeah. it up, because it is a bit... Now we have to sell you on the fact that the Norse gods are actually cool space aliens. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I think they did a really good job of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I think so, too. Yeah. Uh, Adorable. Dark world. Mm. There was really good moments in that movie. There were, yeah. But, but most of them were with Loki. There was, yeah. Well, there was something mm. missing in it too, though. And I, I don't know if I can put my finger on it, but it, I think it was the I, pacing. I, I think that it was too much emphasis put on uh, the, the villain wasn't fleshed out enough. They yeah. didn't really give a shit about Malekith. No, the, you don't. The, I mean, yeah. who can even name him now? Like you, but like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I forgot his name. Uh, but I, I was excited I forgotten that too. because it was Christopher Eccleston, and it's the only yeah. season of Doctor Who that I've watched. Uh, right. And he's amazing. 
He's great. He's, he's a really good actor. Also yeah. Destro. Yeah. Sad. In a bad G.I. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, there was a really, really cool setup. They were, I think they were hyper-focused on setting up the in Infinity Gauntlet and, yes, and the, the Infinity Aether, Stones yeah. and the Ether and yeah, all yeah. of that. And so they missed the mark on some other things that were going on there. But the, still... I, think, I think the biggest focus in there was that plus trying to uh, uh, work on the relationship between Loki and Thor. Yeah, yeah, well, I was going to say Asgard and Thor and Loki. That was all but, done well. But the Thor-Loki really stuff like, gets so yeah. repetitive. Yeah. yeah. You know, they do like, Thor's like, I trust you, you're my brother. And Loki's like, ha ha, ha right? Hug, stab. Yeah. And then they do it again. <laughs> you know, and then you're like, I mean, it's just, it's Thor's character to always forgive. He's so lovely, I love him so much. And then it's Loki's character to always, you backstab. know. Backstab. Yeah. backstab. yeah, you know, like, hug, Which, stab. Which, talking about Loki, <laughs> they explore quite a bit in that first episode. Yeah. yeah. So. And they, they call him on it. They call yeah. him on the hug, stab a lot. And I think yeah. there's something about getting away from that pattern, which you have to break it, otherwise we get bored, because there is shiny craziness flying at yeah. us constantly. Yeah. Actually, that's a funny point, because in the Loki show, they've sort of touched on that. They're like, yeah, but like if you just keep doing this same thing all the time, don't you get bored of it? Yeah. Like, mm. yeah. Yeah, because we all do. Right? I mean, it's like That's like yeah. speaking I mean, voice for the audience right I there. I find it an interesting premise for that show that they position it at a point in time where he because in the movies he does go through that journey of change as well as to who he becomes before they deal with Thanos mm. um, and so now he's kind of doing that again in a different way because they pulled him from a moment yeah so he gets to see what he did in his last moments yeah. So yeah. that was that's an interesting that take. was a cool thing there's some really cool stuff in Loki yeah. so far although I think last night's episode was a bit of a throwaway yeah. there was like what? one it was there was like yeah. one important detail it was filler it I was, it was it's, really it's a part pretty one filler. of what I hope is an excellent part two, right? Because it gets to the end and it's an all to end to act break on all. Whoop, there goes my pencil. <laughs> Did you need that? <laughs> to act break on nice! all his laws. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's she had great. backups. <laughs> By the time I looked up from the pencil, you had something else in your hand. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I don't know. I'm into it. I just I didn't expect to like like the Loki show as much as I do. So really I'm sort of just I just here for the ride. Yeah. 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 Which um, I think some of the Captain America movies, when you when you go to them, I'm a bit like, eh. Yeah. That's yeah. Um, okay, Ragnarok. Yeah. So, I want a quick knee-jerk reaction. Who's the villain? Who's the in uh, Ragnarok? I mean, right? I know it's supposed to be. So that's another problem with that movie. It's Hela. Yeah. But yeah. it's also Obviously the Grandmaster. Kate Blanchett, yeah. who is beautiful forever, no, and she will be terrible. And uh, but <laughs> from a writing standpoint, it's Hela, it's the Grandmaster, it's Surtur, it's, yeah, Surtur, and yeah. Scourge, to a degree. There's Surtur, right. four villains that have their own, like, that they have to overcome. It's super and weird. It also not Odin? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Who leaves your son so unprepared? He's like, oh, heads up, I'm about to die, but also your That's daughter. That doesn't make him a villain. That makes him Odin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's just he's just a flawed hero. That's super Odin. Yeah. yeah it's very super Odin. But I think my, my flawed hero is not so different from a villain, which is what the MCU is all about. Yeah. yeah that's I true. mean, I don't know. The, the funny thing is, Serta isn't a villain. He's the hero. That's right. Who? Serta at the end. Serta? Serta. It's Serta. Serta. Yeah. Do it again. I mean, it, in Norse mythology, it's Surtur. 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 Surtur destroys <laughs> Asgard? Yeah, well, Surtur. we'll do this for a while here. But regardless, <laughs> uh, kind of a hero in the end. That's who they need to use him in order to. Yeah. yeah. To, to reset to, Asgard. To, yeah, in yeah. order to, to win the day. Yeah. So it's. I don't know. It, it was a very. When it came to the villains in that movie, that was where it got really weak. To me, the whole that whole the I executioner love Hela. and the executioner is a great character uh, in the comics. Yeah, you know, not never has never been the smartest or the no. you know, but a fun character. Didn't it give you a taste of what a Silver Surfer movie could be like, and therefore it's awesome? You think you want Silver Surfer to be like Ragnarok? Yes. Really? Why? Okay. No, I get that. I get that. Yes. What? Yes. Because Why? because he's like he's rad. He's '80s, right? Like. No, but he's also he surfs through the through the universe, well, and he's, he's like, sir, sir, sure, <laughs> but he's also not <laughs> himself. 
his journey, Solar yeah. Surfer's journey he's is a herald rediscovering Norrin Rand. Yeah. Like yeah. He, but he, Galactus is super synthwave. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, could be, I guess. Sure. Uh, Damn, Disney. He's not wrong. Casey and I <laughs> yeah. will write you a Silver Surfer movie, and it will be awesome. Oh, they're going to ruin Norrin Rand. No, because he just needs to be sort of a mindless drone for Galactus and then rediscover himself. But imagine when he comes if it was that Earth. and like, uh, Earth is awesome. Earth is a different Yeah, planet. I agree. Well, uh, when he comes to Earth, is yeah, when he yeah, but he just, like redis he rediscovers his sense of self yeah, and sort of overcomes the brainwashing of Galactus. Anyway, that's not a movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not yet. It's a good cartoon from the nineties. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, no. that was me acknowledging the cameraman telling me that we've got ten minutes left. Um, oh, wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're nowhere near where we need to nope. be. All right. <laughs> you know what? Days. I Part think we two. need to switch to a little bit current, more current stuff. Okay. Like we're, we're skipping. We're going through really old stuff. Is there anything we, that you have to say, though, about the catalog, ba the back catalog? I think let's, let's, oh, yeah, true. Everything Is between, anything, I guess, Ultron say? and uh, <laughs> you got to jump between. Yeah, we've got Spider-Man. We've yeah. got Ant-Man mm. uh, Ant and Wasp. Oh, it's yeah. trivia oh, isn't it? You guys are never going to get through this because it's trivia. Trivia <laughs> <laughs> right. again. Super speed trivia okay. time. Because Do here it. is your film. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You've only got a few Ooh. seconds this time because we're going to make it super fast. But Why do I recognize that but don't recognize is that? This? Do -do 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 -do. Mm. Uh, this is the movie. You're going to write it down and I'm going to ask I'm you what movie it. and right. what year. And you've got five, four, Oh, three, I got nothing. Two. I got nothing. I'm literally blank. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Iron Man 2, 2010. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, friends, this is Iron oh, Man 1, Oh, damn. You know what? We were just talking about <laughs> going to the end, and I was like, this has got to be like the roughness <laughs> and the look on his face. That's intense. He's got to be, that's got to be recent. I thought it was too, I thought it was right before War Machine showed up. I got to gotta say, though, Flash, Robert right. Downey Jr. has just aged so gracefully. Yeah. So <laughs> gracefully. Yeah. With, sure with a no little digital help, I think, yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. okay, so I think we should jump. Uh, yeah, like you said, if there's, if there's anything from Spider-Man, the first one, not far from home. I mean, all, all I will say is I love that they brought in Spider-Man. I love that Disney partnered with Sony in order to bring yeah. those universes yeah. together. I thought that was brilliant. Yeah. And I was Tom really happy Holland. to see that. Tom Holland, great He's casting. great. He's fantastic. Great. great casting. Although they've done some weird stuff with Spider-Man. Like, well, yeah. like uh, uh, good though, I think, because it's different than what we've seen. If they do um, the whole Spider Verse thing, that would oh, be really Oh God, we'll see where that's uh, going. And then love Zendaya. I, I kind of hope they do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I love her. That's my She's she's a lot of fun. Um, I just rewatched Far From Home like over the weekend, just randomly, and because uh, I'd only watched it once. Yeah. And that's a, that's a fun movie, man. Like doing Mysterio and having like the justification of like they it, did. It, so they did this, Mysterio really well. And they then, did. And, but he was the set drones, up by freaking that was Whiplash. Cool. Like the whiplash storyline oh. of like the the I, my ideas were stolen, the the like anti Stark industry thing yeah. is who oh. Mysterio was, and all the people who made Mysterio happen. Yeah, that's true. And it's true. also really weird that Peter Billingsley is in that movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, that's the kid from a Christmas Story. Yeah, <laughs> it's so they, weird. they did do it very well though, and and I think that they've done a really good job of integrating Spider Man. Might like. I just keep wondering how they're going to start pulling all of that together now. They got all of that. They own Fox. Are they going to pull in the X Men? And all, hey, what you know. a beautiful job writing Spider Man, where you know, oh, we're using our our, uh, our superhero names and not our real names. You know, those oh, little moments great. of comedy yeah. um, where he's not as sassy as an older Spider Man might be. Yes. Right. Uh, which we're used to, you know. But see, now that, bringing that, bringing that, that though, in was so great. I the one thing that bugs me about um, Spider-Man getting rebooted constantly is that we only ever see teenage Spider-Man. Yeah. We don't ever get to see grown-up Spider-Man where he gets really cool and then Dad, you start casting. Like except for Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, and this, yeah, that's true. We saw that version of sort of like Washington. Yeah, Peter which Parker. which I really enjoyed. And I think that's the reason that that movie is so successful. And I well, think we might see it with Tobey Maguire. Because but I was going to say, right. and that again, would be rad. if they pull, if they do a Spider Verse, and it all comes back around, look yeah. at the bigger picture. All of a sudden, you're going, okay, now they all are, are pretty good, except for Spider Man Three. They're all great. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. Venom and Guardians. What? What? Yeah, Venom in the in the Guardians comics. Let's have him in the movies. You want you want Venom to go to space? Yeah, but they. I, yeah. I have a hard time having I mean, he came from space. Venom from Spider-Man. I have a really hard time with that. Okay, uh, what was your question? We derailed you again. 
Uh, I wanted to get into I wanted to get into the current stuff. I wanted to get into WandaVision, Loki, oh, okay. uh, and to a lesser so, effect. Eh, I'm curious because you you did not like. Neither of you seem to like uh, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier and, and Falcon. And, and Falcon. I really like that. The series. show. Yeah. I, I I okay. It's. <laughs> I liked it as a show to watch. It was okay. It was fun and engaging. Mm, but yeah. when I'm like analyzing it from a writing perspective, it was out of order. I love things that happened. Like I love that they introduced. Uh, uh, oh my God! Why is the name not coming to me? The the island, the the place they went, the city state. Oh God! I know. You're oh, wait, starts with the, an M. Yeah, that's yeah. all. Madripoor. Madripoor. That's it. Yeah. Like like introducing Madripoor is really cool because that made me go. They're probably gonna do Wolverine. Like yeah. Because there's a lot of like solo Wolvie stuff that Which happens is true. in Madripoor. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. He spends a lot so of time. So that got me jacked, and I really like Z. My problem. One of the biggest problems with that show was Zemo was the most interesting character. He was amazing. Yeah. He was super fun. He's the only part of the show that is an action scene, the show. Yeah. Um, and yeah. all the stuff that is action scene, the show, is a bit like, but why am I watching it right now? Like, this is going on for like a heckin' long time. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, oh, oh no. you're gonna derail us, aren't you? We have a different redemption, though. Oh, no. Oh. We have an act ask us almost anything. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, Jean McInnes would like to know how did the panel like the Netflix one, Netflix shows, The Punisher, Daredevil. Oh, oh, you know what? That's a great that. question. Uh, thank you, Jean, and hi. That's that is a great um, question. Yeah. A good question. Yeah, I think they had a lot of great opportunities, and they yep. did not do a great job with almost any of them. The Punisher, yeah. I think, was great. Daredevil, I think, they did a pretty damn good job yeah. of. And then everything else, they have this whole thing where they start a story and don't know what to do with it, and then they just die. Yeah. Agree. Punisher yeah, and Daredevil gonna, were the only two good ones. If you were going to rank them, you'd rank Punisher as number one? No, I, I'd probably put uh, Daredevil's number one. Punisher's number two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'd agree with that. Jessica uh, you know, Jones is a no, delight no, in no, the no, 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 Jessica, garbage. Jessica Jones season one yes. was, was good. Was good. And then the rest was no. No, but even beyond that, what, okay, this is my problem with the Netflix series, is the whole the whole Netflix series is them trying to avoid them being superheroes. Yeah. Yes. All of it. They never yes. Jessica Jones especially, she's Ugh. That is a crazy character in the comic yeah. that they don't do anything with in the show. Yeah, at all. same, same with the They just show her being a drunk. We have Spider Man rebooted 16 million times. Sure. I think, I think we can learn a little bit about Jessica Jones before she. She's not even Jessica is Jones. all in and kicks yeah. ass. She's I not think, even Jessica Jones. I think Jones. we can give she's her a drunk. the benefit of the doubt yeah. because she, yeah, because she's got fucking shit to deal with. No, yeah. but the thing is, she never deals was, with it. It was lazy though. She like, never deals with it. Just because you have problems doesn't make you a cool character. That's true. But that's what everybody else gets to do. Can ladies not do that a little bit for a little bit too? No, no, but it's not about. But it's I don't want to watch it That's not fair. That's not. It, my issue together. with it isn't that. It's that they don't grow they the characters. To, they do yeah. in season two. It's just season two. Ter not great. I agree. Season two didn't take it where it needed to go. But it, but the plan was: Why am I a mutant? How am I a mutant? What is I going mean, on? I mean, they don't even deal with the mutant thing at all. They don't they, even touch on that. They do that. Yeah. They don't really touch on that at all. They hide it. It was an yeah. experiment, and she was yeah. part of this experiment. Because yeah. they and were then, still. They, they, yeah, the deal with Fox was still in the works. Yeah. They, I agree. The season two didn't take it where it needed to go. But, but it, they do start dealing but with. But again, the it's question. like even in the moments when they should like. She is a super strong character. Oh yeah, and they never showcase that, and that really bothers me. And in the moment, every it. time it's supposed to be, they hide it. Mm. They use camera trickery. I mean, they have the money. I know they have the money. <laughs> yeah. All right, you could have shown us a little bit of, of the, how awesome this character is, and they never do. And I just, I don't know. I I think that her versus the David Tennant villain in that show. Um, yeah, season one was good. Yeah, it was one great. Is, I agree that season yeah, two sure. is no. not. And, and season Tenet, three. David Tennant is amazing. Can, can we all agree, though? Man, great. Vincent D'Onofrio as the Kingpin, perfectly cast. Oh, he was amazing. Perfectly cast. Yeah. He was fantastic. So so I never good. would have like, assumed, but he was to me, so good. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Fist is one of the most disappointing things I've oh, ever so seen. Oh, so disappointing. Yeah, that was super sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You Everything know. else looks great in comparison. Yeah. This isn't a redemption or anything, uh, oh. but the chat would really love to see a solely Marvel-based nerd fight at some Ooh. point. Oh, we can do that. Oh, you have got a little mini one there, yeah. and it needs to continue. So, I'm down so, for that. Something is going to be happening soon, depending on what happens with our COVID restrictions, when we don't need these anymore, and masks are optional. Blah. This is always supposed to have been a six-person panel show, and that nerd fight at that point is going to get a lot more interesting. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> but to answer the, the initial question, the Netflix series are just disappointing. Across the board, as a whole, I would say they're disappointing. You know what? 
Okay. I, I, so, I would say as a whole, they're disappointing because even with Daredevil, right? I think you have yeah. you had two good seasons. But again, they just fell off into this area of like we're not actually gonna let him be Daredevil. Yeah. We're not actually gonna let him just like. Yeah. They, they got so caught up okay. in this place yeah. of darkness yeah. and what's going. Same like, thing with the Punisher. Like, yeah. It, I there were so many great scenes of him being the Punisher, but without him actually and being Jigsaw. the Punisher. Should have been. Oh, that was. Well, I don't yeah. know what the hell was going on there. That was stupid. Yeah, like modern yeah. plastic surgery technology is just oh, so good no. that he has no scars in his I, face. Yeah, so, and he's that's like, why I'm say, so damaged. Like you're still one of the most handsome people yeah. in the world. Like, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, just as a whole, I would say it's disappointing. I'm not saying there aren't good moments, and certainly yeah. I think the first seasons of so, like Luke Cage always started the like, great start. Loved where that was going. Didn't do anything. I with feel it. like Luke Cage season one that the. the they had a good idea to the halfway point, and that was supposed to be the season. Yeah. And yeah. There's a shift halfway through that show, oh, and wow. I would disagree. That this, I would say the second half of that show is better. Really? I love the soundtrack. Soundtrack of Luke soundtrack. Cage is oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. When she stabs him in the bar, and then yeah. you're just like, Whoa, this show's a different show. <laughs> Bring it on. Uh, OK. Um, Let's fight about this again later. Did you guys yeah. know about that the next Captain Marvel movie is called The Marvels, plural? Oh, well, there are a couple of that, the Marvel family is right. So, well, they might do uh, uh, Captain Marvel. They, they might oh, do, yeah. I think the book they're they putting that. in there is Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan's coming. Yep. That I'd and love. I read an announcement earlier that Monica Rambeau's character from WandaVision yes. is going to be in the Marvel. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Because she does she is Captain Marvel in the comics. And we for see a while. her use sort powers. Of for a little bit. She yeah. Is. yeah. We see her use powers in the Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. She's different now. At the end of WandaVision, she is not. Oh, yeah, the same she becomes person. a whole Do you guys want to but... see the last few trivia questions before we go? Hell yeah. Let's let's All do right. it. Because we're, we're, we so, didn't get right anywhere near through. This should have been like a three hour episode. Hey, there's a lot to talk about here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fly through <laughs> We made Let's it through the big, like, uh, like Captain America. A big Iron thank Man you Thor. to the chat who triggered the first oh. round. This is now lightning round. Lightning oh, round. Crap. What movie is this? The show? Uh, Captain Marvel. Oh, oh, crap. Captain Marvel. Yes. Captain Marvel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That character is Goose. With lightning round. Name. Lightning round was running out. name should have been in the comics. What movie is this one? Uh, Avengers. You betcha yeah. it is. First one. Yeah. Yeah. Marvel's The Avengers. I was about to say Civil War. Uh, what movie is this one? Civil War. Uh, Captain Civil America, War? The First Avenger. Yep. Oh, it is too. Look at the costume. It's Winter yep. Soldier. Winter Soldier. Oh, it's Winter Soldier. Damn. What movie is this does one? Does he put the old costume on? He does. Uh, yeah, he does. Is... Oh, yeah. oh, geez. In the end is that of it. Infinity War? Uh, no, oh, that oh, is oh, Ragnarok. Oh, Ragnarok. Oh, Ragnarok. Nice. Yeah. Ragnarok. Nice one. Thank you for participating. Our overall winner is Trevor Demo. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I never won anything. I called you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Damn, Thank you, there was some other stuff. Okay, Loki. Let's really quickly. I've, have you guys heard about the Loki theory? Yes. What's the theory? Oh, I told you earlier. You're today. not talking about the earlier, right, right. so yeah. So uh, Ash actually showed me a TikTok of these two guys talking about the Loki theory. Loki theory is a thing that's online, and what it is is that. Uh, people are, because the next Ant-Man and, uh, and Wasp movie is called Quantum Mania. And yep. I'm going to get through this as quick as I can. In Ant-Man and Wasp, when he's stuck in the quantum realm, or when he's in the quantum realm, he sees a city in the distance. So the theory is that the TVA is that city in the distance in the quantum realm that he saw. Uh, that there's a line from Michelle Pfeiffer of why haven't you aged well in the quantum realm? Time works differently here. The same uh, oh. uh, Agent Mobius, or I think it's Mobius, uh, Owen Wilson's character said time works differently here to Loki. So the TVA is most likely in the quantum realm. One of the three Time Lords that they feature the most that's in the middle, the lizard gods or whatever, uh, is likely to be Kang the Conqueror. Because <gasps> in uh, cool. the, the villain is announced as in Quantumania, Ant-Man and the Wasp, as Kang the Conqueror. Kang oh, shit. fucks with time. He's a time traveler. So this sacred timeline is very likely Kang screwing with shit, creating one timeline where he wins in the end, and that's what he's calling sacred, and he's convinced all these other people to, to enforce. I would I love all of that to be right. I yeah. really would. Because yeah. I, I love Kang the Conqueror, and that's a great story that pops up a lot in the yeah. animated series and the yep. comics, yep. and he comes back a lot. Um, I would love that to be right. I will say, of all the theories I have read that I've, I've gotten, that's a cool theory. I would love that to be right. They're never right. <laughs> Never right. <laughs> but I think Which by the, were, I think by the end of this, we're going to see uh, uh, Loki and Sylvie defeat the Time Lords, like from like, um, you know, cr 
creating a nice, neat yeah. little thing. Does Sylvie make it? Multiverse. Does Sylvie make it? There, there is a multiverse in the Marvel comics, so. Well, yeah. there's a multiverse. I mean, even in Loki, they're saying that there is a multiverse and that these Time Lords are deleting all the timeline to, to have well, one. I mean, they were trying, but then yeah, there was that scene where everything started to just branch like crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it says, they even said in, I think, episode two that they're still actively trying to make it happen. That right. they are working to finish off the as rest of the timeline. As far as she knows. Yeah. yeah. To right? make the sacred timeline. Yeah. It's what's sick. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. It could be interesting. It could be really interesting. That's a great way to take it. I would love to see it. Like, where I'm curious is if it is Kang the Conqueror and it's supposed to be Loki and Sylvie that, that sort of take it and defeat him and, 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 and stop that from happening, what does that lead for the next Ant-Man movie? And, and Ant-Man and Wasp movie, but like, yeah. so it's, oh, yeah. maybe he that's escapes. the only part where I go, is that gonna be what it is? Or is it like, uh, it's cool maybe they get the other two and he escapes. And then yeah. that's oh. that's what leads into the next Ant-Man. Right, yeah. maybe there's he's the last Time Lord. I mean, he might be all three of them, but yeah. No, We're gonna have to stay tuned to find out. Okay. Uh, Kang works alone. Uh, it's been a big week and a filthy lot. We've been really busy filming a lot of stuff. We have some fun stuff coming soon. This week we released uh, uh, premature demasculation. The, premature demasculation, right? That's what it was called. <laughs> which uh, uh, it's that's it's a great. Thing. It's on a funny lot. Uh, oh, that's we great. shot episode two of Shadows of Blood, our new campaign D and D. Uh, next week we've got is it? Uh, it's the conclusion of our adventure in the other part of Altera where Matt would DM. Right. What was the name of it? Something another on a lot, which is actually the first episode of Road to Ready to Roll. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Really cool. And sorry, that's next week? That's next week. Okay, so Very stay good. tuned for that. Tune in for the, the conclusion of, uh, uh, I can't remember the name, but I'm sorry, Matt. Uh, but Matt, Matt is DMing that one shot or not, it was an or not, and we're getting that conclusion on Tuesday. Uh, and next week, uh, next week there is no filthy talk, because it's Canada Day, and we're getting a long weekend. We'll be back in two weeks, and I haven't sent a full crew email, so I'm gonna say this right now to the full crew, who hopefully is watching the show, we're thinking of doing a goddamn talent show. So. <laughs> Do it. I can juggle. No, I can't. Until then, uh, stay tuned. Ow. Thanks for tuning in, and stay filthy. <laughs>